Hello, I'm Mike Brooks. There's a look at some of the top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Tulsa police asking for help identifying a person accused of taking photos inside a woman's restroom. A woman said she was in a local come and go bathroom when she noticed a man's cell phone over the stall. After he was discovered, the man, police say, left in a white Ford Edge SUV. If you recognize the man in the photo right here, please contact the Tulsa Police Special Victims Unit, 918 596 9168. Well, today, Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum signed a contract that gives police officers a major raise. The deal allocates $8.4 million toward raises for the officers. This is one of the most significant raises for city officers in the past few years. The Tulsa Police Department now says that its officers are being paid a wage that is competitive with neighboring cities. Well, in order to deal with the spread of highly contagious Delta variant, the Cherokee National Holiday Celebration will be going virtual again this year. Events like the Arts and Quilt Show will be held online. The fireworks show and the drive-in movie nights are still happening, though socially distanced. And larger in-person events like the intertribal powwow, the sports tournaments, and the downtown market have all been canceled. The world's largest steam locomotive is in Oklahoma right now. The Union Pacific Big Boy 4014 made its way through Pryor, Wagner, Muskogee, and McAllister today. Stops are part of a 10-state whistle-stop tour. The train's first since its restoration a few years ago. Big Boy is built in the 40s. It was used to carry equipment during World War II. It's the only one of its kind that's in operation today. The train makes two more stops in Oklahoma tomorrow, Atoka and Durant, before heading to Texas. Here's a quick look at your 10-day forecast. Mike Collier says he's up the chance of rain on Saturday. We're looking at about a 40% chance Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A little cooler after that with temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s for the next work week. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines for you today. Of course, stay with 2 News Oklahoma for any updates. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.